My name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan and I'm here to bring y'all our business plan writers tip number 90 which is a strategic plan looks like a polite message in a bottle from a lost Martian. And what I mean by that is that there is absolutely no way to get anybody or very few people to agree exactly what a strategic plan should look like, the components of a strategic plan, or even the purpose of a strategic plan. And so with that expectation set, let me go ahead and show you how I create my strategic plans for my clients when I'm writing their business plans, but also when I'm doing their strategic planning for them. So the purpose for a strategic plan, from my opinion and from my research, is going to be is to get a person to um, develop a roadmap from where they are now to where they want to be. And so in order to do that, the way that I structure my business plans is I always include my strategic plan, the starting point of my strategic plan, in my business plan. And so what I'll do for my business plan is I'll kind of go just into a general strategy in my business plan. They'll talk about the networking strategy, competitive strategy, marketing strategies, operational strategies, company branding strategies, just, just the different kinds of strategies, just a broad brush overview of what the strategies are going to look like. From that point, what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go ahead and dive into what my strategic plan is going to be. And when I do my strategic plans for my clients and even my company, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of briefly summarize what, where they are now. What, what does their company look like now? And I, I want to do it in just a few sentences. I, I don't want to get too specific with the business plan because the business plan is a broad overview of what the company looks like now. So you don't want to go top heavy with any one section. And so again, you want to do really brief. So for this example here, I'm using a restaurant example, and I to kind of briefly describe the current state, which is that this, kind of, this fictitious company is about to open the doors. Then what I do is I'm gonna do the vision. Where do we wanna be? And I like to start it off in five years, or in three years, or in two years, or even in six months. It depends on how broad or how detailed of a strategy you're looking for. And so the way that I do it, like I said, is gonna be, um, what is the vision? Where do you want to be in five years? Then what I'm going to do, and for this particular example, this, this particular fictitious company wants to start five restaurants in the Central Florida area. And what I'm going to do then is break into the stages of what is each stage. In order to get this vision, what are the stages that this company needs to go through or what are some benchmarks they need to accomplish in order to move to the next stage? And each stage needs to lead you closer to your vision. Stage one needs to bring you closer to the vision. Stage three, stage four. And the final stage is always going to be, all right, you've attained your vision. It doesn't mean that's the end of the game. It's time to sell your restaurants and move on to another endeavor. It means now you're ready to go ahead and start creating some more strategic plans to take you even further than when you are now. And so within each stage, what, I'm, what I like to do is I first like to, I like to label the stage. So this right here is going to be open restaurant one, and then the stage five is open the fifth restaurant. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up some benchmarks that need to be obtained in order for the business owner to know, yes, you've reached stage one, and now you've also finished stage one. So for this example right here, uh, we need to optimize business model. So, so that's the biggest thing that they need to do for stage one, optimize the business model, um, so, you know, make your burgers the same for this example right here. Optimize advertising channels, which works, what doesn't work. Um, design and implement feedback from customers. You know, how are you going to get your feedback to know that your customers are satisfied? Optimize that plan. And then reach $25,000 in sales for three consecutive months. Also, once you're done with your benchmarks, you kind of want to go ahead and then put a time frame in which you expect to have this met. And you need to put a dollar amount to tell you, you know, how much you think you need to be able to budget to be able to attain this objective. And so once you're attained this objective, then you move on to stage two and stage three. In your business plan, you just want to list your objectives here and, you know, what the name of the stage is, the dollar amount, and the time frame. That's enough information for your um, business plan, um, for your um, strategic in your business plan, that's enough information regarding your, your strategic plan. However, once this is done, the, what I always do or like to do with my clients is I'll copy and paste this information and I'll put this now into a separate document called the strategic plan. 
And in this strategic plan, what I'm going to do is, again, I start off with the same information that's in the business plan, in the strategic plan. However, I'm going to then take each one of these bullet points here, and I'm going to dive into and um, come up with some strategies on how I'm going to go ahead and improve each one of the bullet points. So for this strategy right here, stage one, optimize uniform burger making, um, burger making and, and serving process. Then I'm going to go down here, and this is going to be a new section. It's going to be labeled stage one. And now here are my bullet points here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about what are some of the actions that I'm going to take on a daily basis in order to get this burger making process to be uniform and to be, you know, optimized. And this is where your strategic plan really blossoms and it really takes hold and it really gives you a sound understanding. This plan right here can be as little as four pages or it can be almost like a, a standard operating manual, you know, which it can be 50 to 100 pages. It really depends on how much information and how deep you want to go. But keep in mind, the more information, the more thought that you put into your strategic plans here, the more actions you can take on a daily basis is going to increase the chances of you reaching this benchmark here. And the more benchmarks you meet, the quicker you're gonna go get through your stages here. So hopefully that information makes sense and it's helpful. If you all need some strategic planning and um, consulting or some help, just let me know, I'd love to do it. And also, I do have some books published on Amazon. And the first one that um, you know a lot of my clients like to pick up is going to be the uh, starting the business as like playing a video game. Here are the level cheats, and that's a great book for um, business owners who are looking to start the business. The stages that you need to go through, and it kind of gives you some tips and tricks on how to get through them. Also. If you all are looking to raise some funds for your small business, I do have a book on that as well, which is a complete small business guide to raising funds. And both of them are on Amazon. They're in Kindle and on paperback. And as always, if you all need some help writing a business plan or writing a strategic plan, my information is down here. And I'd love to um, help. Just give me a call. Thank you.